Obviously, it's a painting that everyone knows and loves and is a big crowd favorite in the Mauritius Harris, but we wanted our visitors to have a whole new experience about the painting. A painting, people think of it as a kind of a flat object, but it's not. Also, people think, you know, once it's there, it's there forever. But there are a lot of things happening on the surface. Cracks are appearing, color degradation, and you can sometimes have paint loss. Sometimes you can even have people attacking a painting. The scan is based on focus tacking technology combined with 3D stitching. The software automatically moves the lens above the painting using a high precision motorized platform to acquire a series of images at different focus positions. Every single 3D is built from around 50 images stacked in one fully focused image containing the depth and color information for each pixel. This automatic process is then repeated 41,106 times to cover the entire painting. So after 88 hours of scanning, the new image is here. 108 billion pixels in 3D. And it's never been done before. So the goal here is to make people also realize what it feels like to see this surface and to make sure that the surface stays like this for long term. So one part of this exhibition is showing how the girl would have looked when she was freshly painted by Vermeer in 1665. So turning back time to see what the painting would have looked like before these changes occurred. We found out some really exciting things about the girl. For instance, that the background used to be a green curtain and that she has eyelashes that are now no longer visible because the paints have changed over time. This presentation also shows the pigments that Vermeer used, the colored powders that he used to make his paints. It shows the first steps that he would have carried out to make the girl and how the painting has changed over time. And I hope that brings everyone closer to Vermeer.